No crying. I am armed and dangerous. I have a microphone in one hand, and I have this very hefty award in my hand. I can't give it to you yet. We have to do some talking. You have to do some crying. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am uh, really excited, and, and there's a lot going on, and you're getting ready to, like, I'm about to hand this to you, and it's so excited. And I'm as nervous for you. I don't know why. Like, I'm your mama. I don't know why I'm nervous for you. I'm happy for you. Um, a lot of people love you, and um, I'm, I'm here tonight, and I'm honored to be here tonight, but there's also a, a video of somebody that wants to say a congratulations, and this is an artist who is uh, a hero of yours. I mean, she's a hero of everybody, so just uh, watch the screen. Oh, Lauren, it's Dolly. Well, you and I have a lot in common. We both started young, we love country music, and we love the grand old Opry. And I would give a million dollars if I could be there with Tricia and Garth, all the folks that love you, to get you inducted into the grand old Opry. Nothing like it. I'll never forget when I got to be on the grand old Opry and when I got to be a member in 1968, I guess, 69, somewhere in there. But I loved it, and I love it still. And I just want to wish you the best in your whole career. And good luck with the Grand Old Opry. We love you. That's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> Remember that time when you told me how much you loved Dolly? She said, <laughs> she said my name. She did. She said. She knows all about you. That was awesome. All right, stand, I think you should stand in the circle. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of new at this being the inductor thing. <laughs> what I have gotten to observe in knowing you for the couple of years that I've known you is just how genuine you are. And I said this when we were invited, how I really do feel like country music is in good hands. You are exactly the kind of artist that the Opry loves and wants and looks for. And usually when somebody gets inducted, the person says it's on behalf of all the members of the Grand Ole Opry. And I'm going to say that, <laughs> but I also want to say every single person from the house band to the crew to the guy that's parking cars, everybody, everybody tonight has said she's so deserving and it's about time. So this is from, this is on behalf of myself, all the members of the Grand Ole Opry, the crew, everybody who's associated with the Opry. You are now officially a member of the Grand Ole Opry, Miss Lauren Elena. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, since I was a little girl, I've dreamed of this moment. Both of my, my, my family's very musical. My dad grew up playing the banjo, and um, he dreamed of playing the Grand Ole Opry. And both of my parents raised me with a huge appreciation for country music and all that it is and all of the people including you and Dolly Parton, um, who, <laughs> who have come before me. And I just want to say that I promise to do everything I can to represent country music. And I heard today that I am now the youngest living member of the Grand Ole Opry. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and, um, I promise to represent this family well. I have felt like a family here as long as I can remember, like you said, from the people who help us with our parking spots to these guys that play on the stage with me to the people who put you in your seats. Everyone at the Opry has always made me feel like family. So for me to finally be officially in is the biggest dream come true of all time. Most little girls dream of their weddings. I dreamed of this. So 
<laughs> Hopefully now I can have a wedding too and we'll be set. <laughs> God bless you guys and God bless country music.